Antelope, Oregon. The town that almost lost everything. If you guys haven't heard of Antelope, Oregon, it's a part of different types of history. The first history is in the 1800s. Its life started very unclearly, but they have buildings there that are from the 1800s, probably from the 1870s, that are still standing to this day. Antelope used to be a very big town in the 1800s, but now, to this date, it only has a couple dozen people in it, about 48, but the one that people most remember and one that scars Antelope the most is the history that it holds from, from 1981. When the Ra-na-ni-shi, Ra-na-ni-shi's, I can't say that properly, but this man, the one that I've been trying to pronounce his name for the last minute, he got all of his followers to move right outside of Antelope and had them wear colors of red, orange, and pink. They, on this piece of land that they bought, which was 64, thousand like thousand of acres he named it as big muddy ramp they started to buy a lot of land besides what they already had around the town and they and over time more people started to show up to see this cult leader which that was later determined that he was a cult leader who seemed to believe that he could do anything miracles claim that he was the voice of god you know so on and so forth so a lot of people came from all around the world to just see him. And next thing the town knew, there was over 7,000 people that had moved to that town. As more of the people started to show up in this town, the original residents of Antelope started to leave, started to abandon their lots and just get out of there because they personally had started taking over the town. They started getting jobs at the cafes, they try to take over a school, but they end up shutting down the school before they could actually take over it. They poisoned people with salmonella. And at one point they decided that the land wasn't enough. They wanted their leader to be the mayor of this town. They all registered to vote and they got him as the mayor. He renamed the town with his name that I can't seem to pronounce. The cult thrived for a while, for a couple years, before his criminal past started to come up. After a attack that they did with the Salmonella, because they considered that a bioterror attack, their cult leader got deported. Then the followers started to slowly leave. They all started to go back to their original lives or followed him all the way to India. After all the cult followers, left they were able to get their town back and change the name back to antelope oregon this is just a brief summary of what happened if you want to know more there's a lot of history there's a lot of youtubers that have done details i'll leave one of the links one of my favorite youtubers down below but the main reason why i told you guys all this is because i got the experience to go down to antelope oregon and just look around which since there is only a population of about 48 people, that place was dead silent. There's no sound of cars. There was not even the wind. As soon as I got out of that car, which was about almost a three hour drive, it was dead silent. There was no sound. It was eerie, but it was also in a weird way, beautiful. We got to see not only the history of that was left behind by the, the cult when they tried to take over, we also got to see some history of the 1800s, which, but I think that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, I'll come back in a few minutes after you guys get to see our experience in Antelope, Oregon, and I will tell you of the other place we got to stop at. Okay. We, oh my goodness, Layla, stop. Okay, we are in Antelope, Oregon. <laughs> I think you mispronounced cantaloupe. 
<laughs> We're finally here after feels like forever. This was the school. This is Layla. This is Tyler. That is Sam. Just like, listen how quiet it is. That's just such a big school. They had a little slide. One of those merry-go-rounds that have been banned everywhere else. <laughs> This is one open. Uh, yeah, no. It won't. What? No. Wow. Weird. Difference. Right. That's just beyond crazy. I feel like I'm like at the beach, but like not there yet. Because it's so quiet. Layla, hold it. Layla, wait. That's just crazy. It's beautiful though. Look at all the cracks. This is such an old building. I just want to make sure mom's okay. I'm getting on it. Just trying to make creepy sounds to bring up the ghosts. <laughs> Those things need some uh... oil. Yeah. Big time. You gonna climb up? <laughs> Pretty quick. You could get on that thing like I did. I could. Or I could not. Yeah! Yeah! Wait. Let me first go ahead and say this, that this is the first spot that we have been able to find since we got to this town. My cousin Tyler is trying to find the actual sediment, settlement that people are actually at. So, we're gonna see if there's more places, but this was the first one, literally, as soon as we turned into the town, this is the first thing we found. This was the school, in case you didn't hear us say that. So, yeah, we're gonna keep going down the town. Um, I'm sure you guys already heard me say this, that there's like 48 people here. So it's a very, very small town. Yeah, so we're gonna try to find the next building. That is just crazy. Oh, it even had the little bells too. I wonder if this part is unlocked. All right, now I'm curious. Yeah, the move. Bugs. <laughs> Sorry. It's been closed for a long time. Like 15 years? 15 years now. It's been open and shut and open and shut. But probably at least five. Okay. Are you guys locals? Yes. Yeah. No, the other side of the hill. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're from over in Ashford. Okay, nice. How long have you guys lived here? Almost 25 years. Uh, you just have to go online, sure. I think. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, there are, there are some neighbors well, around that can tell you things, but it's, yeah. it's still a sore subject. No, I'm sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. for, the, for the couple few years they had it, yes. Wow. Huh. Really? Oh, yeah, they took over the whole town. That's, that's what I've heard. Yeah. They were looking at, uh, I guess, the school over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they, the, the community closed the school mm. on purpose so oh. that they couldn't take over the school. Oh. Uh, Which they have not had elementary school. The whole. Kids have to go into Madras. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, sore subject. Nope. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. Okay. It really tore the community apart. I'm sure. Yeah. That makes sense. As, uh, yeah. yeah. As, uh, as that happening would, I would think, to almost anywhere. Oh. <laughs> lived here. Yeah. When the Rajneshis were here, when they were going around with, with trucks with searchlights and things like that all night long, staring into your windows, yeah. things like that, they yeah. just up and moved out. So I guess you guys moved here after. Yeah, and we didn't we didn't live right here, but right. we moved we moved to to Ashwood yeah. after the Rajneshis had left. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank thank you for taking the time. Sure. I, it's Enjoy, yeah. really no really interesting. Welcome to the downtown metropolitan envelope. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's an interesting country. Oh, definitely. This building was before the whole cult thing happened. Um, this was back from the 1800s time. <laughs> no way. Guys, there's an outhouse. <laughs> There's Bibles here. You could tell this area is very, very un, uh, uneven. Because <laughs> look at this whole thing, it's kind of just leaning a bit. Well, what do you think of it so far? It's interesting. Because it like it has two different histories. One is from the 1800s, and then there's one from 1970s. Look at all the nails, though, that are coming out. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty incredible experience. I actually want to go back. Uh, we didn't actually get to see where the cult was. That was a whole different area. It was on a gravel road that I couldn't actually get to uh, with my car because even though it's an all wheel drive car, it's also just a car. I, I'm gonna rent a Jeep or um, a truck. We're gonna actually get out there because it was only supposed to be a 20 minute drive, but how slow I was driving, uh, it slowly became like 40 minutes and we still weren't there. We were not even like one third because it was just, I didn't want to ruin my car. So we're gonna end up going back. But the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, we got to see another building on the way back. It was the original United Methodist 
church where we actually ran into a very awesome guy there who was filming a music video. He let us know that other people told him that they can't be inside so they let us know that we can't go inside either otherwise there are people around are gonna get mad and how they're like gonna like watch a blaze like a hawk. But yeah, so this church was beautiful. It was, I'm kind of sad that there was like a little bit of graffiti going on. Uh, but I agreed with what the people who told them that they couldn't go inside. It was very old. It was, things were just kind of hanging. Um, I ended up stepping inside the church. I ended up stepping inside the church just to get you guys this footage. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will be back in just a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It took me a lot. That's why that this video is actually a day late because I wanted to make sure that everything was just perfect. I really enjoyed going to these places. I wanna go back. It was beautiful. It was filled with tons of history. My heart goes out to the people of Antelope of everything that they had to go through and how they almost lost their town and people had to leave because they felt threatened. I'm so sorry you guys have had to even go through that. That is not fair. That That is just sad. But I'm glad you guys are still around and that you guys were able to get your town back. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ghost town trip. There's going to be more. There's a couple more that isn't super, super far. So I want to go there. Uh, but that's just going to have to wait because with how long it took us to get there... It's gonna take a bit for me to go to those other places. Leave a like if you guys like the ghost town videos. Drop a comment down below of a place that you guys know that I've never even heard of that I should go to. Subscribe, because I do make videos every Tuesday and Friday. And you guys stay safe out there and stay spooky. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. All right. Ooh, slam that door, why not?